Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. This is the first one of the day in the world. Hello, hello everybody. How are you guys doing today? My name is Bugging Tame, Buggy Boggersworth, and I am here with your weather forecast today. Today it's going to be slightly saucy with a drill of Parmesan, and I don't know what else to tell you, dude, because seconds aren't going to be available. So, yeah, drain the water. Um, I'm Bugs. And I don't really know what I'm doing here, so I'm just going to talk because the world is upside down and so is my brain and so is everything that I've been thinking about and doing and that's how this is going to be, dude. Yeah, we all over the place with it today. Um, Let me say a couple things to start. I am the observer of this meat bag that I walk around in. (laughs) So when I say I or me or you or, yeah, I'm not saying specifically this three-dimensional being. I'm using that to connect into this dimension to speak the third dimensional language that we use, which is English. But what I mean is the observer. When I say I, I mean the conscience. I don't mean the meat bag goofball that is fucking buggy boggers bugging tin. So that being said, understanding that we're in the fucking matrix right now, has me literally dodging shit upside down. So, yeah, it's 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 really weird, dude. And if you've been diving into the history of human civilization and how empires and everything and psychology and then you would be fucking your brain would be cracking just like mine is right now. And it's it's this crazy. I'm just going to boil it down into this sentence real quick. The government, the CIA said, hey, guys, there's some vehicles that are not from this fucking planet. We don't know where the fuck they're from. Straight up. And no one fucking said shit. <laughs> Everyone's so bent up on arguing about face masks and shit. When... I have, obviously, my opinions and views of the shit, but I'm not going to use this moment for that because I think it's pretty clear about what the truth is. And by me saying it, I don't want to sway anybody's opinion. So I'm just going to talk through this fucking mist of bullshit instead of joining the mist, if that makes sense. Hence... The beginning of this fucking podcast. Shit's fucking weird right now. And I'm weird. And you're weird. And the fourth, fifth, sixth dimension. I can't even imagine the weirdness of you people that would be there. You fucking people. You humans. You Neanderthals. You everything. (laughs) At the end of the day though. To wrap that sentence up, which is sketchy right now, we're going to be good, guys. We're going to be fucking fine. We're waking up. The the passage of knowledge right now is, is way too quick for the control to keep going on how it's been. And that's that. That's what I want to say about that. And that's pretty self-explanatory. If you know, you know. If you don't, hopefully you start to know because I don't know which pill is the worst one, red or blue. But let's just say, I don't know, the blue one's the bad one. We've all been taking the blue pill forever, thinking we're woke, wiping fake crust up out our eye. But I took the red pill in like November, October. (laughs) And my life is fucking flipped, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. But but what I have been noticing is... The things that frustrated me eight months ago, I laugh at right now. But the things I laughed at eight months ago, I kind of get frustrated about now. 
So there's a very weird balance that I've fucking noticed with this shit, no matter what it is, whether it's too much salt or too much sugar, literally it's stupid shit. The smallest things are what add up into that equation, you know, so I've been learning a lot about this stuff. I said a couple years ago, like four, four or five years ago, maybe. Oh, wow. It's been a long time. Wow. And I was tripping fucking face. And I was just looking at um, my boy had this kind of how my shower is on the wall of my shower. It's not a wall. It's like cubed see through things that are like blurry so you can see the sun from outside when it's daytime. And the light was on from inside it at nighttime and I was outside looking at it and the cubes and even though everything in between it as far as like the blurriness design was out of uh, out of sync as far as mathematics go. I just looked at that, looked at the sky, looked at how everything was set up around me because it wasn't organized when I got there, but I have OCD. So I organized shit and I just realized, whoa. Everything is fucking math. And it sounds so stupid. Like, yeah, obviously you can do anything. You can make anything into math. But no, like that moment I was deep into a fucking mushroom trip. And I realized heavy that every single thing was math. And the reason I'm saying that is because... A couple months ago when I dove into all this different knowledge that I've always wanted to learn but I never dove into yet. Learned that. Not learned that. Learned of like the geometric shapes. And we've all seen those videos of like when they play sound tones under like a a plate with sand on it. And the sand forms into shapes. Well... I fucking put my body through the ringer with the food. If you listen to the past couple podcasts, you I was in the beginning of it talking about my diet and how I had this thought. Well, it's been said, but this thought that for real, for real, like what you eat literally controls your your mood and your brain, your thoughts, not just your energy and your fat like it controlled that. And the same thing with thoughts or Music, same thing with what we scroll through on Facebook and what we intake in our diet through our vision, ears, and all that. So that's what I mean about eight months ago, I started taking the red pill. I completely switched my diet. I completely switched what I was looking at. If I saw one thing that I didn't like on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, no matter what it was, it was 100% blocked right away. And it didn't matter if I had to block it 20 fucking times in a week. And then if I had to block something 20, I was like, why am I scrolling this much? That turned into me spending more time doing research instead of scrolling. So it was a big process for me to erase this brainwash that I was under, that I knew I was under, but I didn't think it was that bad because my generation is the first generation of really growing up with texting and cell phones and shit. And I just got in an argument with my family because it's my fucking birthday this week. And obviously, when you link up with family members, you always talk about the past and blah, blah, blah. And the school, the high school that I went to tried to kick me out my junior year, saying that I was a child in crisis. I couldn't follow instructions and shit because they wrote me up for using my cell phone a lot. But you have to take into account that that was literally the year when cell phones became a thing, like... Instant Messenger and all that was a thing. Pagers were a thing for my older sister. They had cell phones, but they weren't text worthy. Like, flip. Like it was. There was a razor, and a f- like a year or two, a few years after the razor, that's when texting really like that was it. You know what I mean? The, the like with the switch, the flip up phones and stuff like that with the full keyboards. So the game changed, and that was my generation. So we grew up with none of it and with it. it we're half and half. And teachers didn't know how to fucking discipline kids for that. And now was I a little fucker selling weed? And is that why I was texting all day in school to meet up with him in this hall and that? Yeah, I was a fucking douche. But it doesn't matter because that's not what I got caught for. I I was getting written up for using my cell phone. So 
Yeah, I had a little bit of rebel in me. Everybody has a version of a rebel in it, whether they got in trouble with it or not. I was always on my cell phone just texting. And, dude, I'm not the only person who got written up mad times. Like, there were girls, like, straight-A student, pretty girls in the office just as much as me from texting. Because why? They're pretty girls and they're getting texted instead of handwriting notes. Handwriting notes literally was a thing from 7th, 8th, and 9th, and 10th grade for me. And in 11th grade, no handwriting at all. Ever. Like, I haven't even written since high school. Literally. (laughs) Like, all my music is typed. I don't write shit. So, that's, that's funny as shit to even think about. I haven't fucking... Wow. Do they even, I don't even think they teach cursive anymore. And my signature is a bunch of fucking scribbles, dude. Just like everybody else's. But I don't know. Yeah. So I realized everything is fucking math, dude. And recently I dove, I got into the geometrical shapes and Metatron cubes and what my brother Cash always mentioned in his raps and shit like that. And I knew what it was. I've been there. I've been there in a a psychedelic situation. I've tapped into it many a times. But I've never tapped into anything in my life completely sober. So I still smoke weed a lot, obviously. But I never was completely healthy. I never just ate strictly good shit. So if you listen to a podcast from like eight months ago, you'll hear me saying, I'm, I'm going to start my shit up. Y'all hear what I'm doing. Da, da. And it was rough, but I did it. And in that time, I tested myself on two weeks of this diet, two weeks of that, two weeks of that. Two, and I like really put my body through it. And I mean, like I did a week full of just fucking sweets because that's all I used to eat. I'm talking cookies, cupcakes, cake, like <laughs> everything that I could want. And when I tell you the difference between fast food or anything that you want versus constant salads, fruits, and real food, meals, lean chicken, fish, I can't, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even, guys. I can't even because my whole life, I wasn't I wasn't really fed much family meals. My mama worked her ass off. So I was eating cereal every night. That's why I was a chunky little kid. That's why I wore my shirt in the pool. That's why I wore bigger shirts in high school because I was fat, but I got called a wigger. There's like so much of my life that I realized based around my insecurities of my diet. And I'm a kid, you know? I'm going to eat the cereal. I'm not going to fucking do the normal things that... That happens, you know, so when I really tested my body and saw the the difference of how not my mood, not only my body, the shape, because I work out consistently, but I wasn't getting what I wanted and it was the food. I was a big believer on you can eat whatever the fuck you want, but you can work out when once you reach a point that stops. Once you reach 19 years old, (laughs) that stops for real, for real. And then you see, like, you always hold yourself to a standard of what the media shows you. And those motherfuckers are juicing half the time, more than half, like 85, 90% of the time. And regardless, so when you understand these things, you understand, oh, I like, if I want to eat ice cream, I can only do that once a week. Like, I got to discipline myself. I have to. And when you go through the first couple phases of that, and you realize what you like, what your regimen is, what your body takes in, what it's it's mind blowing the the growth that I've gone through the past eight months alone because I was lost, man. I was very lost mentally, and I didn't realize that I was lost for three years prior to that. It took me to completely switch up my diet, my everything. To realize where I was. But the reason I'm saying that is because when I was like one of the most fucked up moments in the recent past four years. The one conclusion I came to was that it's all math. And when I'm the soberest of my sober. 
the conclusion I came to was that it's all fucking math, which is so fucking nuts, dude. It's crazy. Now, I might sound crazy because I'm saying just math. You're like, and this is the weird thing that I found too. Math was my favorite subject in school. I was nice. And the reason I loved math is because there's always an answer to it. It's an equation. There's always a way to figure out an answer. There's never, maybe it's this. Math is, nah, that's what the answer is. And I, that's why I don't get why people thought math was hard. Because at the end of the day, if you know the equation, you can figure anything out. And that's how I look at life. That's how I look at everything. If you know all the situations and you have the stuff to put in the the, pro, the, the equation or problem, whatever, you can fucking solve it. That's that's kind of my outlook on many things. Wow, saying that just that just connected even me to my childhood again. This is so weird. This is what's dope about podcasts, y'all. This is what's dope about turning the fucking lights off and just talking into a microphone. You never know what the fuck you'll you'll pull out of your brain with yourself because you're talking to yourself. But yeah, coming to that conclusion that the math obviously ties into degrees degrees tie into angles and angles turn into shapes and shapes and obviously that's that shapes the world but by degrees i also mean color color are degrees heat every every single th- sound waves are numbers the hertz zero to six thousand or whatever that's like we talk around a 500 range like i kind of know my shit but i don't know my shit you know i know but i don't and if i'm getting there though i'm starting to climb into climbing to and obviously music is all math clearly it's one two three four one two three one two three one two three one it's that's obvious but and as a drummer i have to keep the time so i guess math is just a big thing in my shit but coming to the realization that everything is that it simplifies a lot you know what I mean and when you realize that you can look at things as not not like probability like will this happen will it not because that's how we always think regardless what it means is it's not about the big bang or the big equations it's about the bunches and bunches and bunches of little things and those bunches and bunches of little things accumulate into one big thing in its own versus shooting for one big thing when you do that you miss the chance for clumping up in other areas and that's like me with music and genres like instead of me just being a rapper i've done every genre i have major clumps in every subgenre of music itself the core is obviously hip hop and drumming and that, but I have stems of everything. But those stems are cl- major, major fucking clumps. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't focused on one thing, and that's what I mean about the accumulation and the addition of everything, every little thing that we do. When we work things up to be this big thing, or when when we like build it, build it up and. That's when we get let down, whether it's relationships, whether it's a a fucking video game or sports or whatever. Whenever we get too hype, that's when you get brought down. And whenever you're too low, you don't get high enough to bring you up over the halfway meter. So when you even when you get even, you still feel low because of how low you just were. So this is ties into what my shit like my ideology which is full circle what goes around comes around da, da, where we're not all full circle all the time we're not all on point sometimes we get energies and and things that counteract with what we're doing and we don't realize it at the time and we jeopardize maybe not us someone else maybe not them maybe we jeopardize ourselves and we don't realize it in the time because there's a lot of big things happening quickly. But when the big things happen in a quick, quick sporadic time, you miss the little things that matter. And when you miss those little things, you wouldn't have gone through with the bigger things, which would have canceled the implosion 
on them leaving you back to square one, which a lot of us do in many respects of school, knowledge, working out, eating healthy, creating something, dating people, friendships, all of it. So when I thought, when I realized all this, which is a bunch of shit I already knew, which is like we all deep down know these things, that's when I really, this was like a two months ago, two and a half months ago, that's when I really, really honed in on my, like my brain and I found out what I wanted and what, what's okay. You know what I mean? Because what I thought before was going to make me happy, it, it didn't, not even in the moment, not even, I didn't even get in moment satisfaction. So understanding that, that just shows me that I was doing my thing, but I was doing what I thought I had to do at the same time. Do you get what I'm saying? I wasn't completely moving at free will when I thought I was. I really thought I was doing what I wanted to do. But I was brainwashed into thinking that that's what I wanted. When in reality, it was what this group of people wanted, that group of people wanted, and they wanted, and they wanted, and she and he, and, and I combined all of that into what I wanted. And guess who got fucked? And guess whose fault it is? Me, dude. <laughs> it's me. It's my fault. So that is the most relieving fucking thing off my shoulders that I got off about a year or a year and a half ago. And when I realized that, I started thinking like, okay, well, how can I get more into this? And that's where eight months ago happened. And yeah, so this journey of mental, mental, whatever the fuck is, is fucking crazy. And it is a mind, it's a mind fuck, dude. It's just like the blurry glass in the shower that I was talking about, where I realized the, everything is math. <laughs> and for this podcast, I'm going to use that picture, that everything is math picture, because there's actually a picture of that exact moment. But, yeah, so that ties into, obviously, everything else, politically, sports, and all that shit that I've been learning, all the way back to before Egyptian time, and blah, 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 the stars and shit, shit's crazy, dude, it's weird, it gets weird when you look into it, when you look into it, that's, that's the thing, once you take the, the pill of the truth or whatever, you can never go back, and that's what they mean in the Matrix, like, now that I know what I know, I, it's not that I, I can if I wanted to, like, I literally cannot go back there, my brain my mental state will not even let me get there because what I was doing before, like I said, wasn't 100% what I wanted to do. I thought I was doing what I wanted to do. I was just going through the motions of what I thought needed to happen for me to succeed in the music industry. I was putting it all on music. I didn't put any on bugs, like... I can't get any more clear than that, which blows my mind because everything I did was to connect people and shit. So that's why I've been dropping nonstop music, been eating very fucking well, been doing everything else that just completely flips my shit. And it fucking works, y'all. It really fucking works. It really fucking does. It's crazy. It blows my mind. Which is why I'm here talking right now. You can see everything's been split up pretty much with the podcast. I was coming more, but I plan to come a lot more, obviously. I got a lot of special shit coming. I got mad fucking videos, merch, rolling trays, lighters, ashtrays, bandanas, shirts, hoodies, socks, dude, lighters. Fucking, I'm coming with, uh, I think, like, I'll probably drop three more albums before 2021 and once 2021 comes I'm dropping one album and you guys will see why because that's some shit and just know that I'm about to come with fucking I'd say what's what's it right now August 
by this time next year, I will have 70 music videos released, at least. 70 to 100, but in my whole life, my whole music career, I only have three or four. So that that's a little hint of how crazy I'm about to come, why I've been silent. It's been a self-rejuvenation thing, and I, I fucking needed it. I deserve it, and it's something everybody deserves. If I can say something right now, it would be, y'all, do this shit. Do everything that you wanted to do. Eat that food, drink that drink, sing that song, straight up. I can't explain. I mean, you can't drink vodka and you can't just eat burritos. I mean, do the good shit. You guys know what the good shit is. You can feel in your gut what's wrong and what's right. And that goes for everything. Food, psychological shit, emotions. So, Buggy says, ride with your biology, dude. Do what your body tells you from now on. Your heart leads you wrong. Your brain overthinks. Do what your body tells you. I fucking love you, dude. Bugology class out.